it's the way I don't be knowing what's in these boxes and bags. Y'all hear the cars? Y'all know I'm back in my old spot. Y'all know I'm back in the OG spot. By the front door. What is even in here? Oh, okay. So the other stuff must have other stuff that I need. We're just going to be surprised together. Because I don't know what's what. Alright. Let's make it happen, Captain. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today is a very, very, very random haul. I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit, a little more. <laughs> but before we get into that, you know I have to always, always, always thank my sub subscribers. You guys are amazing. I love you, love you so, so, so much. You guys be holding it down, liking, commenting, all the things, watching the ads, everything to support my channel. Y'all are consistent about doing it, and I love and appreciate that so much. If you see this and you have not subscribed yet, you can go ahead and do that. You already know my discount code for Good Body Oils is going to be on the screen and in the caption down below, as well as a recommendations video. <sighs> <laughs> recommending some things um, from them that I own in my collection and I have been scouting they got some new things dropping so I'm gonna place a huge 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 order before the summer is up and I'm gonna give another honest review so if you see anything on the website that you're thinking about getting or you want to know about drop it down in the comments and if it's something I'm interested in too I will go ahead and pick it up um if you hear all the cars next to me I'm back in my OG spot by the front door all the cars and stuff so just bear with me my room it looks like somebody tried to rob me in there but it's just me it's just my stuff everywhere so i said i just i don't have the strength to go in there and clean it up right now so we just gonna go back to the og spot where all the noise in the cars is and we're gonna make it do what it do so without further ado y'all grab something to eat or a snack or some water or something because i just got bags and boxes sitting in front of me i don't know what half of this stuff is we just gonna go on a journey together of discovery y'all ready <laughs> all right okay so this is the most recent thing i got we'll start here first this is trader joe's and if you know you know so i was able to pick up the brazil nut body butter from trader joe's i have missed probably the last two or three times it dropped i missed it because this is the type of stuff that as soon as it dropped the day of by the next day it'd be gone and i just feel like at this point they know it has such a like um cult following almost that they should order and make a lot but i feel like the trader joe's don't be I don't know. They don't be up on what they need to do. And if you don't know, this is supposed to be basically a dupe for the Bum Bum Cream from um, So De Janeiro. Cerosa 62, I think it is. Um, 62? 68? 62. One of them numbers. And um, this is supposed to be like the dupe for the body cream. Bum Bum Cream. I've never had the body cream. I do have the spray in my collection. So I can't give a comparison as to like the consistency or the texture of that particular one. I do have um, Charosa 68, the cream and the spray in my collection. But I don't have the um, 62 body cream. So I can't necessarily give an accurate comparison of the consistency. I guess though if it's made by the, made by the same brand... I've had Charosa body cream, so I should be able to say if it's close or not. But whatever. Anyway, I can at least tell you if the smell, if it is an accurate dupe. The, the girls be going up on TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. They say this is the holy grail. So, and I bought three of them. So if I hate it, I'm just stuck with them. And it is very nice packaging. Like this is, I think this is glass. Like, I don't know. It's really, really nice. And they, I think they were like $5.99, so it's not super expensive. I can't get this open, though. There we go. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Let's give it. And then my sinuses is flaring up, so <laughs> let's hope I can smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a dupe for sure. Oh, my gosh. That's good. Let's put some on because we always know I'm a little bit ashy on my hands. It feels good. It feels thick. This feels 
was great. I have no complaints on this. For $5.99, they could go and make a couple of more dupes, if you ask me. I have 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I see why this has gone so quickly. Like I said, I bought three, so I got two backups here. Only really because I don't feel like having to fight for it the next year it comes around. When I say I call Trader Joe's just about every day, like when is it coming back in stock? When is it coming back in stock? When is it coming back in stock? And when they finally had like a definitive date, like we can order this date, it'll be here by this day. Baby, so next year when it comes back around, I'll have another jar. And probably the year after that. This What's the expiration date on this? I don't see necessarily an expiration date. So I feel like as long as it's sealed, I'll be good. They also dropped a Brazil nut body wash. I believe this is their first year doing this. I don't believe they had this last year. It smells exact. I don't know if I'm smelling my hand, but... No, it smells the same. It smells the same. I can't say anything as far as the consistency, obviously, yet. But if you're trying to seal in that Brazil nut, um, Charosa smell, yes. And also, to shameless plug, y'all know Fragrant Body Oils has the Charosa, the Bum Bum Dupe, uh, Charosa. Is it 62? Let me clarify, because I'm, I don't know what number it is. Yes, Charosa 62. Fragrant Body Oils has it on their website in a perfume oil. And I tell you, it's it's an exact match. An exact match. That perfume oil smells exactly like all the rest of this stuff. Um, and I bought that a half dram sample of that with my own money. Absolute match. Check out my discount code. And that discount code works for May and then another one in June, another one in July, so on and so forth. But anyway, they also released a candle. And I was like, okay, trader. Okay, Joe. Okay, we see you, Joe. You did it, Joe. So, that's what it's looking like. It says, salted caramel and pistachio scented candle. Inspired by Trader Joe's Brazilian nut body butter. So, let's see what it's given. Okay. This is... This does not smell exactly like the rest of the body care that I showed. It's good, but it's if you're thinking you're going to buy this candle and it smells exactly like the Brazil nut... Charles 62 vibe no this is this is soft and a little bit sweet I don't know if the pistachio is sweetening it up a little bit yeah this is worth the smell I'm gonna say this is worth the smell this is kind of good the pink packaging makes you think it's their version of the Brazil nut but I mean I guess they said they took inspo from it but it's definitely not the same and then the last thing I got from them was this Peony Blossom Scented Candle. I had smelled this a couple weeks ago when I went in looking for the Brazil Nut stuff. And I was like, oh, this is actually not bad. Yeah, I actually kind of like this. So, we're going uh, to like this and see what's happening. Everything actually, too, everything was very affordable. Everything that I just got, I think I spent $30 bucks all together. $33. So... The Brazil Nut Body Butter was $5.99. The candles were $3.99. And the body wash is $5.99. So I feel like very, very, very affordable. Um, these other big brands need to start being careful because these other companies are starting to get a hold. And their prices are far more reasonable. So, you know, these big companies that have had the market on lock for years, y'all might want to be careful. Bath and Body Works, that was an app to you. Yes, it was. Vicky, Victoria's Secret. Yes, it was. So I had went out of town, and while I was there, we stopped at Target and TJ Maxx. It was like a day trip. I might do a separate video about it. I didn't really vlog like I should have, but it was such a good experience. Um, and yeah, I might make a separate video about it. But anyway, we had stopped at TJ Maxx and Target. So you know, since I was in TJ Maxx, I had to stock up. Oh my, you know, my poop spray. I don't play about it. I keeps it on me at all times. Anytime I go in a store that I know that carries it, I just get another one. Because I just, you just, I just can't never run out. I just can't ever, never, ever, never run out. Um, so I got that. And that is, how much is that? That's $4.99. So they, I only mention the price because I think, because it's very affordable. So, you know, do what you want with that information. I also saw this and did I need it? No. What did I buy it for? 
because it says Hello Kitty. <laughs> this is a jar that has um, cotton pads in it. And it's Hello Kitty decorated. And yeah, that was really all the reason I needed to get it. I mean, look at the top. The top has Hello Kitty on it. It's 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 beautiful. So yeah, TJ Maxx. Cotton pads. After this is gone, I'm sure I will repurpose the jar for something else. I just feel like, how can you pass that up? How? And then I also got a Hello Kitty mug because Hello Kitty is bae. That's my girl. Love her. Do I need this either? No. But for $5.99, you can't beat it. That TJ Maxx ain't have much, but anytime I go out of town, I try to always stop at a TJ Maxx, a Burlington, a Marshalls, or something that is like a chain store that we have here. I try to always stop at it in another city because they always have different things that you don't have in your city. So my side is just down bad. I'm so sorry. But that is my tip. I always, if I'm in a different city, I stop at my go-tos because they're going to have different stuff than your city would normally have. Like, for instance, I went to the Target down there. And um, y'all already know I hauled the Olay before, the Olay Regenerist. The um with the nice cinnamon in it that they said it's supposed to be a dupe for yarn or like smells exactly like yarn. It don't smell like yarn, but it smells good. However, they had I, I got one um and it's good. I like it. But while I was there, they had them on clearance for five thirty four. They not on clearance where I live. I don't know if they just didn't do well out in the area that I was at, but they not on clearance where I live. So since they were five dollars, I just went ahead and grabbed two of them. They were literally, I think that's fifteen percent off. Was ten sixty nine, now five thirty four. So they were literally half off. You thought I was gonna leave them there? Hmm. I don't think so. And then also I picked up this Jergens Melanin Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Um, I wasn't able to get it on sale, but since I've seen it, I have not seen it in it in my target near me i don't remember seeing it so since i seen it there i decided to just go ahead and pick it up to see if it's given what the girl said it was supposed to give so that's why i say always check our target not or your stores your go-to stores check where you're not at because they be having different stuff or something may be on sale and one inside the other so we'll stick with target y'all know auntie tab she be dropping collections at the target and you know maybe man the first clothing when she dropped i had ordered some stuff I had ordered some clothes, but I was like, nah, Vinia, you know, you got a bunch of clothes. You don't even really be wearing this stuff. I have a ton of clothes. I have tons and tons of clothes, and they just be in bins. I don't even be wearing this stuff. I wear the same stuff all the time. So I was like, no, you know, you don't need this stuff. You don't need to be spending this money, blah, blah, whatever. That was the dumbest thing I ever did, because I canceled that order. Baby, it's a limited collection, Vinia. It's not coming back around. Once it's done, it's done. And the fact that you were able to find some stuff in your size and you canceled that order, I'll never forgive myself for that. So, the other drops, I wasn't too interested in too much of the stuff. I didn't really need anything. But I seen these tote bags. Baby, I'm a sucker for a good tote bag. I'm a sucker for a good tote bag. So, this is from Tabitha Brown. This is from her collection. Um... And baby, the way this just unfolded, hold on, let me, I want y'all to see how small it is, then you snap it, and you unfold it. This sucker is big. Look at this. Oh, baby, I can put some stuff in here. I want y'all to see how big this, this bag is big. Can y'all see? Oh my god, and then they were smart. They put a snap on this side so I could snap the original snap that was snapped when I first snapped it. I could snap it back on the side. This is nice. No regrets. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And then I just fold it on right back. They was on. So I got that, and then I, I wanted the oven mat. I thought that was kind of cute. So I got the oven mat. But that's the only thing I have from tabs collection but i regret not getting that first clothing line when it dropped that i ordered the stuff i could have picked it up and i canceled the order i regret that and i was kind of mad after that happened so i just didn't really i just didn't want nothing else to none of the other stuff she dropped because i was mad that i canceled the first one and i'm like you're never gonna find this stuff again so so that was a separate Target trip. The other time at Target, I went to get one of those. You know, the weather is trying to get a little warm, and that's when the gnats and stuff start coming out. So I bought one of them things that you plug in. It's got the light, and they, you know, drawn to it. So I had to get one of those. That's already plugged up. But they had a couple of plug-ins on sale. So I picked some of those up. 
so they had the um watermelon ones for 461 it's not a too much of a huge sale it's not even a full dollar um it says it was oh maybe it was no it was it was 659 now 461 and that's the watermelon one so i got two of those and i do know i like the watermelon ones i've had that before so i know that i like that so not a huge sale but enough that i still was like i can get it and then they had the strawberry sunday fun day um also 461 so i went ahead and got two of those um this one is another one that smells really good i've had both of those i know that i like those and then they also had the watermelon um air freshener uh, it was three twenty nine now two thirty so like ninety cents off. But either way, it goes. I was like, I'm a sucker for a sale. I'm a sucker for a sale. So since it was and I was there, oh, and I got peach. So I got peach and watermelon. So I went ahead and got both of these. These were two dollars and thirty cents. So I think that's everything that I got from like <clears throat> from Target, Marshall, no, Target, TJ Maxx, Trader Joe's. Okay. So y'all yeah, know the whole. So De Janeiro per, uh, perfume, not perfume, body mist, hair spray, whatever it came out. When in Rio, do not disturb, and I think bikini something. And then we had to relaunch Rio Radiance, which I think used to be tan lines or something. Y'all know the whole stuff has dropped. So, needless to say, I only have two things in this bag from Sephora. Because I'm my collection is growing, and I have no problem with that. I'm okay with that. I do need to get another bookcase put up because I'm running out of space. However, I don't mind a big collection as long as everything in the collection I love. As long as everything in the collection I'm fond of. Having a huge collection and it being filled with things that I don't like or I'm not a fan of or I don't love is what I don't got time for. So, I'm sorry, y'all. My watch keeps beeping and it's driving me crazy. <sighs> All that because it was done charging. Well, just hush. Anyway, like I was saying. So, rather than just buying everything new that dropped, I was like, I want to smell everything and bring home what I actually want. They got, um, what's the name? Do Not Disturb, Bikini Season, and Win in Rio. Okay? So, I smelled all, all three. Bikini Season, Win in Rio, and Do Not Disturb. I smelled all three of those, and I only came home with Bikini Season. Okay? So, Do Not Disturb. The notes for that, it says, Mimosa Flower, Nude Musk, Sun Washed Linen. Now, y'all already know, when it comes to clean smells, like super clean, laundry, um, like fresh linen type of scents, that's not my vibe when it comes to clean stuff. It's not my vibe. I smelled it. It wasn't bad. If I had to have a clean linen type of scent, that would be more in the direction I would lean if I had to choose it, but I don't have to choose it. So I left it there. It was cool. It had a little bit of like a, a cloud DNA, but like more of a, like a clean linen type of vibe. It was cool, but it's not something I would reach for. It's not my vibe. So I didn't take it home. I left it there. And then I smelled when in Rio, where I attempted to smell it. I couldn't smell nothing. I put that joker on my skin, on my hand. I sprayed it in the cap. I just could not smell it. It just, I couldn't smell it. So this is supposed to be Wild Bergamot, Twilight Jasmine, and Vanilla Amber. I don't know if my nose was just off that day, but I could not smell that perfume. I could not smell, I couldn't smell it at all. If I'm back in Sephora one day... I wouldn't mind smelling it again to see if my opinion has changed. But as for right now, I, and the thing was, I had called the Sephora, right? Because I, I noticed it came out when it came out, but it couldn't get shipped to my P.O. Box. And y'all know my rule at this point, if it can't come to my P.O. Box or like an Amazon locker, I'm not doing it. I don't got time. Stuff be getting stolen. Y'all already know my story with that. So I was like, I'm just going to wait till they come in stores. So that was another store. I kept calling, kept calling, kept calling. They finally, she was like, I was like, do you have the new ones? And she said, um, which ones? I was like, do not disturb, you know, the new line that came out. She went back and checked. She was like, yeah, we got it. I get there. They only got the old stuff. They don't have the new ones. So I picked up some stuff. And I got to the counter. She was like, did you find everything you needed? And just out of 
you know, do, saying the same thing, you know, exchanging pleasantries. I was like, yeah. And I was like, wait, actually, I was like, I thought you had the new Sharosas in stock, which I don't have them over there. She was like, oh, you're talking about the new line? She was like, I think we got them. This girl walked all the way to the back because this is in the cold, the Sephora in Coles. So you had to leave out the little area, go to the back stock area, and she brought some for it. She bought three to bring out as testers and then three for me to potentially buy. So I was very sweet of her, very nice of her. I was so grateful she did that. So we all were smelling them up there together, smelling them. And we agreed that the bikini season was the best one. So, yeah, y'all, I only said that to say call, check, and ask them do they have it in their back when stuff be happening. Just be nice because you get further with being nice. But they may have them in the back and they just haven't brought them out yet. Anyway, it goes. The notes for this are guava nectar, sunlit orchid, and vanilla cloud. This was the best one out of the collection to me. And this is the only one from that collection that's coming that came home with me. Oh my god, it's already hitting me. Oh my gosh. This smells, this is like it's like our underground cloud with tropical. That's what it smells like to me. It's like cloud meets went on vacation to a tropical beach, and then you got bikini season. I'm sorry. This is the best one out of collection to me. This is the only one I need. This is the only one I would purchase. I don't know if they had a matching body cream for this. I don't think they did. But I need them to go ahead and release that. Because I need that as well. This is so, so, so good. And this is the only one worth purchasing in my opinion. Um, the last <clears throat> release they had. I didn't get nothing from that one. I don't think last year. With the purple bottles, the purple and the blue, I didn't get nothing from that collection. I never even smelled it. I just didn't wasn't interested, so I didn't get it. But in my opinion, in my professional opinion, Vanilla, what makes you professional? Absolutely nothing. But in my professional opinion, this is the only one worth smelling to me and my personal preference. Oh, that's good. So that's the only thing that came home with me from that line. Now, let me tell you about this one here. This is Real Radiance, right? So, I had smelled this during the VIB sale when I had got the, um, when I bought Tangerine Boy and the Fenty Lip Gloss, all that stuff. I smelled this then. First of all, that Sephora was busy. Busy as heck. It was a lot going on. I was a little bit overwhelmed. So, I smelled this and I was like, mm -mm, this ain't about nothing, right? So, that was a couple, maybe last month. I went there the other day, and I was like, let me just smell this again, because I was gone. They said they didn't have what I was looking for. I was like, well, let me just smell this stuff again and see if there's anything that I want. Baby, this thing made me eat my words. When I tell you, I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I talk trash about this. But I ain't talk trash, but I was just like, I don't see what the hype is. Like, you know, it's not really that good. Baby, I smelled this, and I said, oh, this is supposed to be a perfume. This stuff smells so freaking good. Oh my. If you like Volce Viva by Valentino, then you would like this. Y'all see where my watch be? I got a whole tan now from my Apple Watch. That's so terrible. So the notes for this are Solar Tuberose, Latite de Coco, and Creamy Vanilla. I don't even know what none of that is. Absolutely none of it. I just know this smells so mature. This doesn't even smell like, that's what I'm saying. It don't even smell like it's supposed to be a body spray. This smell like it's supposed to be a perfume. Like, I'm so sorry for ever talking bad about this or not thinking this was worth nothing. This is good. So I would say this is another one you need to go in store and smell it. It's so good. And I it's putting me in the vibe of like a Volce Viva from Valentino. With my nose being <laughs> on the edge like it is right now, that's the closest smell I can give you, the vibe that it puts me in. Like, this is like signature scent worthy. Like, if they ever release this in a perfume, please believe me. It's gone. I'm buying it. No questions asked. I'm getting it. 100%. And I don't think we had, was there a matching body cream for this? There was. And I wanted to get it. But I was like... I knew the travel size wasn't going to cut it. That travel size, you got about two, three good times to wear and the jar is gone. But it's like $20. $20 for a jar of body lotion that I know is only going to last me two or three wears and I'm done with it. It's crazy. So I was like, well, dang, I got to get the next size up. And I just did not feel like dropping $48. Is it $48 or $38? It's like $48 
for the big jar of Sol de Janeiro stuff. And I just did not feel like dropping that money right then and there. I was like, I don't want to. But I need the body cream to go with this. I'm so sorry. So those are my thoughts as it pertains to the new releases from Sol de Janeiro. I, would, I was about to get 40 but the jar they had out to smell it or the spray bottle, it wasn't spraying anymore. And I couldn't remember what 40 smelled like, nor if I remembered if I liked it or not. So I was like, I'm not about to take a chance. I'll just wait another time and get it later. So, and when I go back, if I like it, I'll get it. Let's switch it up. So this is so random, but I'm so excited about this. I have got to show y'all this. Okay, so y'all know stuff be going viral on TikTok and I'm guilty of influencing as well as being influenced on the top okay but when I seen this something just oh my god oh my god it's this I moved my hand past my face and I was like something smells good it's it's that that real radiance I'm so sorry for ever talking bad about that oh uh, it's, it's almost coming out a little bit floral now too like a jazz and a gardenia I know what I'm saying it's in there but something is in there so good. Anyway, sorry. So, these shoes came. I seen these and I was like, I have to have them. I went to the site to get them. And the color that I wanted, they didn't have. They had a different color in my size, but the color that I wanted wasn't there. So, I was like, you know, whatever. I ain't going to get them. That was a big mistake because that stuff was out of stock about the next day. So, I signed up for restock notifications. And when this came in stock, as soon as that email came through, I have checked out in one minute. <laughs> I wasn't playing no games. I am so excited for these. Y'all want to see these? I'm so excited. If it's not your vibe, I understand. Like, I understand it's not going to be for everybody. Y'all want to see these? Look how cute! These are the Croc Mega Crush Sandals. When I tell you, these about to be so cute because I got my gibbets I got my jewels okay look at these I don't know how they fit I don't know nothing I don't care I think these are gonna be so stinking cute y'all want to see the gibbets I got okay so I already have some from Crocs but I ordered some on Amazon I got like four Amazon packages sitting here I don't know which one the Croc the gibbets are in hold on it's probably not that one it's probably this one. It's not that one either. It's this one. Okay. Do y'all see these? There's actually like a bunch in here. It's 40 pieces in here. Okay. The way this was in a bag and another bag and another bag. Okay, maybe this is like a better view of everything. These are going to be so cute. Look at this. It's got like a little fishy. It's got, oh, this is cute. Hold on. I'm so excited. It's got, and I'm telling you, every time I move my hand, this Rio, Rio Radiance, I smell it every single time. Every single freaking time. It's got the pineapple. Like, that's going to be cute, but also hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. How are these gibbets? It don't got the thing. These gotta go back. Cause how are these how are these going in the hole? They supposed to go right here. How they go in there? There's no because let me show you. Hold on. Okay, my camera's about to die. But so these that I bought from the actual croc store. First of all, you see that Hello Kitty? You see these bows? Do you know how cute that's about to be on these shoes? But the back of them have little things so that you can stick them in the holes. Them charms, where you see a gibbet at, a thing. I am confusion. Hold on, let me check my Amazon order. Oh, it don't say charm. It don't. I guess it don't say Crocs. But when I Googled, I mean, when I Amazon, when I was putting the search bar, Amazon or Croc charms, this came up. And I just said, oh, okay, this is it. But it's not. So these have to go back. Okay. I'll be headed to the Amazon locker today. So, I don't have the charms I thought I had. However, I still have these Hello Kitty ones. Y'all telling me when I put these on these, that's not going to be fire? Y'all telling me this ain't going to be a freaking amazing when I do? Get out. Get off my line. 
these are gonna be so stinking cute i can't wait i cannot freaking wait okay so while i'm here hopefully i can do this quickly i had to get a new uh watch band thing for my apple watch i done tore that thing to shreds it it this all the stuff is off of it so i had to get one of those I got another. I have these currently in my work bag. They're almost done, so I repurchased these. These are from Amazon. I think they're like $2.99. These are great. These are great. Love, love, love these. I keep these in my work bag. They go with me everywhere I go. Well, not everywhere I go. They go with me when I go to work. What's in here? Oh, so this is a exfoliator, callus remover, pump, pumice stone for the bottom of your foot. It's summertime, right? Sandals out, toes out. I do go get regular pedicures, but I'm finding out that you're still supposed to do maintenance like to like your size and the soles of your feet in between pedicures, which I don't think I always knew. So I bought these. We're going to see how these work. There's two of them in here because I'm trying to have soft, supple feet. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, which my feet are never really like rough or anything because I try to keep up I try to keep up maintenance with my pedicures, but I just want them to be like baby soft. So I got these pumice stones. I also got these um, ultra hydrating foot masks from Dr. Scholl's. Um, there, I think there's three in here. Yeah, there's three in here. So I'm probably going to do my own, uh, like a little routine or whatever. It's like a bag that has like um, moisturizer in it. You put your foot in it. Um, there's two booties in one pair. So you put your foot in it, let it sit for 30 minutes, and then remove the excess, excess product, I guess, which is supposed to come off when you use these. And then last but not least, I got the Ultra Hydrating Foot Lotion from Dr. Shows as well. Um, I read the reviews on Amazon for that, and then I picked up O'Keefe's Healthy Feet Cream. So, you know, I'm just trying to do what I gotta do to have soft, supple feet. You know what I'm saying? My pedicures on, my polishes on, but I still want them to be soft even between um, pedicures. So that's what I got from Amazon. Oh, I also picked up these um, black shorts. We'll see what they hit now. Um, it's my first purchase of these shorts from Amazon. They're not nothing special, just a regular pair of black shorts. Um, but... I needed something for work. They feel really, really soft. I ain't going to hold you up. So we'll see if they fit, if they're true to size. Um, and I will link this stuff down, I guess, in my description box. Um, but they feel really, really soft. Um, and they seem true to size. So, yeah, I'll put everything down in the description box down below. These last two things. So when I went home for Mother's Day, I stopped at the store called, do y'all have a Gabe's? We don't have one where I live, but where my parents still live, they have one. Um, it's like kind of like a Ross Burlington type of vibe, and you can all you can usually find good body care on sale there. So I bought three of them, but I ended up my mama clipped me as soon as I got in the door. I was telling her about the stuff that I bought, so I gave her one. But I still picked up the Dove Go Fresh um, deodorant sprays. This is deodorant, but you can use this in diverse places, specifically in the summertime, in between your thighs. If you got crevices like me, in your crevices and in your folds, you spray this in between to help you stay fresh all day especially in the heat so i got it in pear and aloe vera and i got it in apple and white tea and these were both 3.99 which if you know this has a very that's a very good deal these run at least seven or eight bucks in like target and Myers. so anytime i see these at like those discount resale type of stores i always get those so that's everything that I've kind of been purchasing in the last couple of weeks. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. It was very random, but this is the vibe mood that I'm in gearing up for summertime. This is just what I'm on. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Thank you guys for tuning in. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what have you bought. What are you thinking about buying? Has anything in my haul today sparked your interest in some things? Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. As always, check out my discount code. I love you guys all so much. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.